Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I'm giving you some additional information on the Sprint's small cell strategy. And as you can see on this document, per UCLA, which is speedtest.net, which most of you use to track your speeds, including me, there have been noticeable improvements in Manhattan, New York. And as you can see here, average download speeds have increased from 10 to 15 megabits before small cells. And after small cells, they went up to 30, 35 megabits, which is a big boost. 10 to 15 is not bad by any means. But once you went up to 30 to 35, now you have more capacity to take on more customers, more users in an area and still be able to put out good speeds. So that's definitely a big win for Sprint to be able to showcase this, actually being live in the city and not not in a testing lab. So this is definitely a, you know, a big positive going forward. Now the big question is going to be are they going to be able to have enough funding to roll this out nationwide? I'm going to say no. This is just my opinion. There will still be cities that Sprint will prioritize, such as a Chicago, Kansas City, San Francisco, uh, Los Angeles, and that funding will be set aside for those bigger cities. You know, Dallas, San Antonio, Austin, they have m many, many bigger cities that have priority over other cities. So it is good, but at the same time, it's bad because not everybody's going to be able to take advantage of this as of yet. It will eventually come, but with time once again. Just as you had to wait for the Band 41 rollout to get to your city, you're going to have to wait for small sales to get to your city. There's no way around it. But it is definitely good that we're actually able to see this in a real world scenario. So that's definitely a big plus for Sprint. So. And then here's another image of more of a demonstration to what the HPUE can do. So the blue circle is current coverage on 2.5. Then the yellow arrows pointing towards 1.9 gigahertz is where that new technology will be able to push 2.5 out further. So this is really good. That 30% is gonna make a big difference. So definitely, you know, I'm going to have to recommend you getting a new device. I don't know if you can or I don't know if you do for upgrades. But once this is launched in the network, you're going to want to have this device that can... Because this not only is this better outdoor coverage, but it would also be better indoor coverage as well. This will help penetrate better. So what this is telling me with their small cell strategy and then adding this is that Sprint wants no customers... <laughs> on band 26 or band 25. They want you to be, I wanna say they want you to be connected to band 41 at least 80% of the time in cities, at least. Band 26, they want you to be connected in very, you know, underground dungeons, uh, you know, maybe like a second level mall on, on the bottom floor, you know, stuff, you know, places like that. That's when band 26 has to has to reach further and you connect to that. But they anywhere else, they want you to be on band 41. They don't even want you to be on band 25 anymore because, you know, band 20, band 41 is where the speeds are. So definitely looking forward to that. So, you know, let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Um, is this something that you're going to be looking forward to or are you skeptical about it um because i mean at the end of the day it is going to take time to get to your city i mean if you live if you live in bigger cities like in new york houston uh chicago then you know you're going to be experiencing this probably you know you already are certain cities already have small cells up like as i stated or you'll be getting it next year early or in the late in the second half of next year other cities such as mine, you know, Albuquerque, Tucson, cities like those markets, you know, we'll get it over time. We don't, I don't, we don't even have Band 41 yet. So, 
definitely stay tuned to the channel. I have another video coming out later today. So, uh, you know, stay tuned. Remember, follow Instagram at TechLife32. 250 subscriber giveaway coming up. Stay tuned for that. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.